Hello and welcome back to another round of Battletech. I am excited. It is time for some nice battle mechs fighting against one another. Uh, time for the mechs to get into the arena and settling a grudge. We are fighting for the Torian Concordat. One faction that we will potentially end up being uh, hostile with they typically end up on the receiving stick when I, uh, on the receiving side when I am playing, and just realized uh, that we are fighting against the pirates here, so it's not going to happen. Sorry, I was of course mentioning that we're going to do a nice little repossession, one and a half schools, so that's a warm-up mission, just to get to know the new lance a bit better battle in martian that's exactly what we're looking for Seven hundred thousand, fantastic griffin gets the prime spot right there hogbite is running the show with it and maybe we're it's time to kind of redo the lance and the fire starter uh, starts first and lily historically had been in the fire starter we have bradford who has now upgraded uh, to the Vindicator on the second last position and Mox right here. So a bit of a shift in our setup. All right, so we are back. Let's deploy in that new formation. We got a solid 180 tons, which is almost kind of mid of the pack. So we're slowly but surely getting to the 200 ton limit. And back. Let's uh, deploy. Command interface initiated. Cockpit, Bradford, Lily, and Mox deploy right in this hey, hostile, hostile desert. We're done. No more ECM. So we what? gotta beat the missions fair and square from now on. Something I can do. No problem. Heading out. Although it was fun, the ECMs were just phenomenal the raven is a, a fantastic mech and i hope the last mission has if the last last mission has indicated anything then it was just how great that mech can be all right got some vehicles left and right good to go Our starter is jumping, and there is a striker here. LRM 10, SRM 10, oh, uh, SRM 6. That is not good. We gotta deal with that. Yes, Commander. Ready to get it on. See, and therein lies the first problem. We will definitely take some damage. Anyways, uh, the Griffin, our new mech, Hogbite, moves forward. Nice little shot here. Lots of MGs, SRMs, plus, plus, LRMs, plus, plus. So, a lot of loss tech on these guys. And quite a bit of armor. Black Jack moves up. I got him. Again, few hits, up, but nothing all too serious. And Vindicator for now goes on to reserve because maybe yeah, they come a bit closer. Bad. Lily is tanking them with evasion blips which is fine Orders. receiving you all right breadboard sprints Roger. forward we can do this let's go and we're back fantastic good fire start to take some damage that was to be expected Can we do a solid movement? Oh, we're potentially jumping just to get 
kind of these extra evasion blips. Four. That's four. Alright, gotta be careful with the heat here, so medium lasers are no-no. I want to continue jumping. But, thankfully, all of the small lasers and the machine guns actually did a pretty so solid job there. Commander. Commander. Alright, moving up. Breadboard. With the modified Vindicator, let's unload on the Striker. Fantastic. Vehicle destroyed. Two down. One left vehicle. And if that is all it takes to Ready win the mission, order. holy shit, I would be happy if that would be it. Orders. All right, moving over Order. here. Black check has the demolisher inside lbx 10s that's uh, the weapon that we have so if we could loot one of those that would be fantastic the demolisher has a massive amount of armor Six hundred. That is almost as, mu uh, as much as our max do have. However, we could. Nah, we can't. I was hoping we could hit it from the side. Unfortunately, the injured side is on the other, uh, on the on the very much other side. So yeah, we've now injured both of the flanks. Luckily, these guys are not very fast. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. All right, Looks like enemy vigilance, just in case uh, they are uh, going to use something. And we got to be careful with our heat management. Engaging target. Let's get fired up. Fantastic. There's work to do. The Griffin will tank for now. Yeah, sounds good. Reserving action. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, sprinting forward, trying to lose some heat. Good to go. As you can see in this biome here, that's not as simple. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Good to go. Acknowledge. All right, Vindicator tries to lose, lose some heat as well. And we're up against the full lance plus that vehicle. Light max though, so we should have at least the advantage in size. All right, so what to do, what to do. Let them act first. Fantastic, okay. That way we yeah. at least wasted the time of uh, the of the vehicle. SRM carrier, oh boy. That thing needs to die right now. Look at that. SRM, 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 SRM. That's exactly why that little sucker didn't want to show his face. This here is a world of pain. Two of them are like 100 damage. 200, 300, 400, 500. Taking the shot. Luckily, they are paper thin. Javelin, an Irby, and two other unknown necks. Okay, you? cool. Firestarter moves up. Let's use Vigilance so that we get the number five initiative. And for now, I really want to save uh, more heat, so. Just a couple of hits on the javelin, and that's Ready about it. Getting into that whirlwind here for 20% cover. Okay. 
Good, fantastic. And that should be a solid hit. Copy that. All right, Griffin moves up, and you can see the heat in this biome is really causing an issue. Can only use can SRMs at this point. I hear ya. All right, so what could we do? This here is not too bad. Taking the high road. Got a panther and another panther, so both of them want to snipe. That is okay. We're using some of our resolve to counteract that. And then let's Time fully unload. All right, Urban Mech tries his dearest to injure us, but fails miserably. Panther, long range attack. Not it doesn't punch enough of a uh, of a powerful attack. Black check here with Mox is tanking quite a bit. We can just let him fall a bit back and we're going to be fine. Now, that was a hit. All right, so fair enough. Moving to Tiny bit back. Let's use some precision. Uh, we, we don't have enough heat for precision strike. I'd rather uh, do that on someone else. All right, fantastic. Let's go. That was a solid hit. Javelin is almost down. Indicator moves up. And thankfully we do have a good heat management. Javelin almost completely down. Griffin moves over. Oh boy. This biome is cooking us. Enemy mech destroyed. Luckily the enemy mechs have the exact same problem. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, fire starter is fine, we're Putting ourselves on reserve. He has jumped into a uh, into a crystal field that will even generate more heat. This panther here will only use his rockets from now on. So is the other panther. Systems holding. Yeah, that's that was a stupid idea, my friend. Maybe we we maybe will be able to kill this panther completely just by standing behind him and using our inspiration. Waiting for orders. Uh, 
All right, moving up. Vindicator moves over here. Time to deal with the urban mech. As soon as the AC-10 is gone, the Irby really cannot do much. Griffin moves over. Can't do anything. That is disappointing. Commander. Acknowledged. Yep, AC-10 gone. That's a now the Urban Mech really can't do much. Alright, fair enough. That was a solid hit. But he is at the absolute heat's maximum. And what we can do in return... is we can get behind we can get behind here and I read you, Commander. <coughs> Moving out. fully unload on this guy many hit points are left over 55 hmm okay tiny bit of overheating is acceptable Return, we've fully killed this guy. The urban mech tries to get up, and the best thing that it can do is essentially attack in melee, and that's pretty much it. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. All right, let's continue hitting this guy. Urban mech is again unsteady. Indicator takes high ground. And that was the Irby. Griffin moves up. Can we squeeze in another medium laser? No, we can't. Can we squeeze in a precision strike? Yes, we can. Reducing his initiative to three. That means we will have one turn before him. And that in return means... We can precision strike, medium laser off, more lasers off. Roger that. Firing on target. All right, gotta be careful with the heat that we're putting up onto the um, fire starter. It is now down to two initiative, which is to advantage because we can now almost fully unload on the Panther. Standing by. Roger that. Moving to here. Maximizing our hit chances and oh, let's hit this guy. And we're meleeing to regain some heat. Attack. 
Alright, the guy's knocked down, meaning if he stands up, there's not that much that's going to happen. Good. Fire starter moves up. Let's hit this guy. Alright, fantastic. That was a great hit. Half of uh, the panther is destroyed. And yeah, thankfully, we have full armor everywhere, so... A single melee attack will just not do that much. Move order received. Yeah, so this time the tables have turned quite a bit. You can see how a um, medium lance really doesn't struggle that much with uh, two lances of lower power. Fantastic. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. Good, except the overheating, the second one, which was a bit unnecessary. I think the rest went quite well. Good, and we got a solid payout, a mill. The fire starter got some damage. But nothing that is too severe. It should be easily repairable. No salvage, that's okay, but we got a mill. So that is fine. I am considering, since uh, the fire starter is the smallest mech, to actually repair it. It's probably just one day of repair. Good, so Mac Bay. Let's just double check how long that repair would last. Or take. Four days, are you kidding me? Nah, we're not going to do that. I'll essentially just risk it. A next potential contract I would like to play something in a bit colder biome. That's another 520 salvage mission, which is absolutely fantastic. This one here is the big prize mission. If we do this right, it might be even up to one and a half mil, which would settle us for now. I mean, everything else is good. In terms of overall timing, Our next upgrade for more technical uh, points will be in 20 days. That's okay. And yeah, our Saturian upgrade will be in 17 days. So the idea will, uh, will be let's do as many missions as we can, then repair uh, also until the Centurion is, is ready and can be used so that we have a bit heavier um, force to deal with. And then we're going to go into that flashpoint. I really want to uh, work with that as well. In terms of mech warriors, the higher missions order. finally yield a bit more, Waiting for order. a bit more skills. Lily Training complete. Gets tactic Tiger. upgraded. Commander. Yeah, and Tiger so far has not really gotten a, a chance. He's Kind of more the reserve guy. But don't worry, there are buildings that will allow him to gain experience every single day. Um, essentially, without even uh, doing active missions. I think the roster of six so far is good. We were lucky enough to not lose anyone. Um, but yeah, that 
that might change. There's a real chance of death, uh, specifically as soon as one of the mechs is going down. Good. I think for now, that almost concludes it. It's a bit shorter episode. The last one was longer. Uh, we're just going to restart uh, here in the next episode when we're uh, taking on that big payout mission. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content on the channel, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. That helps uh, the YouTube al algorithm to fully understand that the content is good and drives more uh, traffic to the channel. So thanks for doing that and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.